we're going to do now is something called Fake Spears. Steve, you were um, overseas recently, like in last year, and you found an unknown William Shakespeare work in the library, didn't you? I yeah. did, indeed. Wow. So yeah. this is like we've been sitting on this since last year, and we are now going to do the world premiere of an unknown William Shakespeare. It's not really a completed thing, but... It's William Shakespeare, so we're going to do it anyways. And the, the title of this William Shakespeare is The Legend of the What? What is the title of this unknown William Shakespeare's work that the Amas are going to bring to you in the world premiere tonight? First time seen across the world, unknown William Shakespeare work, The Legend of the... Uh -huh. The Shakespeare that we found. <laughs> Steve, <laughs> what was that? Where were Type you, it in. Type it in. Where Poland. I was actually in Poland. I was, I was in a Poland. cave. Poland. Yep. Not and, a lot of people uh, know. They have a lot of the oh, the legend of the gopher. gopher. From what we understand, one of the reasons it was never released because he didn't finish it, of course, and also it was an early work, the legend of the gopher, an unknown William Shakespeare work. Let's bring it to you now. <sighs> Oh, good morrow, gentles. For oh, it is but a pleasure to see you in the sight of me. For many a year ago, I was on a journey through a dark, deep forest, when what doth come upon my eyes is something that none of thou hast ever seen before. For in front of mine own eyes was the gopher. Now, Thou and thee knowest not what a gopher might do for thee or thou, but this gopher for me, do what none hath done for thee. So I ask you, if you were but wandering amongst a forest and you saw a gopher, would you follow or would you not? That is the question. Come! My great assistant steed of mine, we must find this gopher. Yes, this that everyone keeps talking about. Where shall the gopher be, my sire? Hmm? I don't know. I see gopher dropping. Should we follow it? Oh, yes. Let me check to make sure that they are the droppings of the gopher that we see it before our doff eyes. I'm sorry, but you may have to taste them to see. If the gopher droppings. Tis dropping from the gopher. Yes, it is, master. <laughs> My great, wonderful, feeble assistant. I sense a third party among us. Ooh. The gopher? It's a silent, muted queen of some sort. Ooh. She does not have a tongue or... Thou last my tongue. Oh. oh. Oh, oh, she speaketh! Ah, oh, the what pixies! What great wisdom do you bring us? Ah, oh, the pixies have been near me, and how so is the gopher. I have been, been but taunted. The gopher, it but came in front of me, and skittered and scattered and skittered and scattered and jumped up and down. And I, I did but not know what to do. Perhaps you weird people could help me. I can help you, for I am a gopher hunter. This is my assistant, Gopher Hunter Jr. Hello! How no. that thou doest in the sun it rises, and your set, thou as pretty. <laughs> your wisdom is great, and we yeah. love it. Which way shall we head? Gramercy, uh, yes. I, I Gramercy, did... I must look I into that. What I... if, wayeth, doeth, we goeth? Okay, I did but see it run across the field and then hide behind the nearest oak. I do think it's that it may be behind the nearest oak. To the nearest oak, come! Doth Oaketh! Ah, oh, and what those poor gentle gopher hunters knoweth not is that the gopher doth take away tongue and give more tongues for as you could see the princess had lost her tongue yet regained her tongue and while wow, the gopher hunter seems to have more than one tongue for speaketh so fast it that not others know what is happening so this gopher you know not what to trust 
for this feeble servant knight that does follow this gopher hunter. For that is the only person that truly needeth the tongue of the gopher to speak the language so pure and true that thou art in search of. We've traveled very far, and yet we have not come across any oak tree. Yes, we've had all kinds of sycamore trees. Yes. We've had all kinds of ficus trees. Ficus everywhere, but no oak tree, and yet we're being... Dost, dost thou seek at the oak? It is the giant oak we speak of all and look it for. Oh, it is I, I, the giant oak. What doth thou want from thee? I will not ask why you may speak and can speak, but I am looking as is my feeble but brilliant assistant for the gopher. I. It is the gopher that doth giveth me my tongue, for without the gopher thou shalt not talk or speak again. That is how you speak, I see. It's funny, we came across a magical lady earlier who seemed to be missing a tongue, but then grew one at the last second. How strange. How Here we strange. are. Now the question that I ask it thee is, why dost thou needeth this gopher, and where dost thou plan to take it, and whence thou doth take it, what dost thou plan to do with it? Well, it's a money-seeking thing. It's about the money. I mean, I want to be honest. I mean, isn't it really? We want to be honest. It's true now. My sire doth want this gopher for the beauty that it holds and the money that is inside. Yeah, a gopher that can create tongues into trees and other beings is pretty valuable. I must warn of thee, though, for no purse shall be full enough if thou dost take it the gopher without the gopher wanting to be taken. You speak oh. wisdom, but we do not fear. Point, yes. point the direction of the gopher. I warn you, ask oh. the other person that warns you, there are pixies about, and thou oh. shalt not trust a pixie, for a pixie will take all from thee that thou shalt have. Tell me where the gopher is, I must know! It is my mission in life. Follow thy shadow. Great speed assistant of mine whose feebleness and greatness and brilliance I keep you around. You're my friend. Let's follow our shadows. Let's do it. I am but a lonely gopher. Tis but a story that people try to find me. I know not why. I just am but a lonely gopher. Fur on my skin. Ah, here comes someone near. Did you hear that? Yes, I think that thou gopher doth hear us, sire. A gopher who giveth tongue must have a tongue. So the gopher must be able to speak. Oh, great gopher, we come in peace. Show thyself. I will not show thy myself unless thou dost showest thou self. All right, I will come from behind this bush and show myself. Uh, thou art but ugly. Yes, it's my mother and father, not as attractive as I'd like, but you know you give and you work with what you're given. Anyways, we must have your magical palace. Isn't that right, assistant great mind, a friend of mine? Tis true, we must vow and find and use what you have. I give you the sacred, sacred greeting of the gopher. Greeting of the gopher? Huh? Yes, indeed. Yeah. But tell me the tale woven through years. I am but a lonely gopher. Lonely. I have no special powers that thou needest. I follow thy heart. I follow where I go. Sire, thou dost tongue is missing from thy lips. Oh, thou gopher, I beg you, I beg you, please restore my sire's tongue, for I am lost without direction from my sire. I am but a lonely gopher. Gopher? 
Dost thou needest a friend? We could have lunch sometime. Would that help? <laughs> I would greatly appreciate if thou wouldst attend a ball with me tomorrow. It is the gopher ball. It happens but once a year. I have always wanted to go and to have a friend. Wouldst thou come and bring thy unicorn shield? Oh, thou noticed my unicornish shield, thou. <laughs> yes, uh, he's yes. got a sight. Yes, I saith, I shall go with you. And should this restore my master's tongue? Mm, I don't think we need him. You and I will have lot more fun, don't you think? All right, I don't mind. I'll meet you here tomorrow at two. Great. See you then. Ah, thine eyes are not yet deceived, for gophers do be the music of love. So gophers will indeed play on, for our magic gopher hath done found the one partner and true being that it chose to be with, and our former gopher hunter, for he doth roam the land sad and in shame and tongueless. For if thou dost not heed the warnings of nature and the mighty oak, thou art to get detongued by a gopher. And thus ends William Shakespeare's The Legend of the Gopher. Oh my God, the world premiere of William Shakespeare's Legend of the Gopher, the first time seen anywhere in the world. We feel honored to perform it for you, Steve. Thanks for finding it in the library. You know, you know why he found that, kids? Because he goes to the library. Later on tonight,